Ну, привет. Приехали в Science Park. Парк технологий, здание, значит, центр сертификации. Мы в лаборатории, которая проводит халяль-тестирование различной продукции, как продукции питания, медицины, косметики и ну, вот, в основном таких продуктов, собственно говоря. И помимо различных общих тестов, да, вот компания проводит тесты на халяльность. Что такое халяльность? Это, во-первых, отсутствие алкоголя, отсутствие свинины, отсутствие различных микробов да, и общая полезность для организма. Значит, один из тестов, который делается, вот здесь вот как раз на табличке написано Molecular Biology Room. Данный, данный пункт проходит разминку состава продукции на составляющие, да, на, грубо говоря, по ДНК даже развивается. Да, и потом уже в следующей комнате как раз здесь значит Halal Detection. И здесь как раз таки проверяется ДНК и определяется каков все-таки в итоге состав ДНК, и если там ДНК свининная, то, что волнует многих производителей. Как нам объяснили, если говорить об алкоголе, то допускается в алкоголе в напитках, поскольку мы знаем, что многие напитки уже натуральные напитки содержат маленький процент алкоголя, допускается, как мы выяснили, все-таки 0.3%, однако это пока не распространяется на другие продукции и не распространяется на молочную продукцию, по поводу которой все еще идет дискуссия. And this is uh, one of the laboratories who does the testing for the halal products. And we're going to ask about uh, what, how the process is going on. Can you please introduce yourself? And, uh, okay, my name is uh, Dr. Gita Pasanta Kumar. I'm a chief technical oh, officer at uh, Holistic well, International mm -hmm. Testing Services. I have more than 30 years experience in the US. I uh, have a patent and also work in the um, development of diagnostic kits. So that brings the, uh, my experience into the lab. We've been working on this lab for the past uh, three, four years now. And we are accredited by ISO 17025 for halal, for cosmetics, uh, disinfectants, detergents, and uh, food, um, perfumes, everything. So let's focus on halal, that is what your question is. So yes, and, uh, from how many countries does the, the company bring the products for the testing for the halal? Uh, we are, that is a good question because uh, we, we are the number one company for halal testing in UAE, I would say GCC region. Why I am saying that? Many companies in the local market are also bringing uh, tests for halal. And we are also getting international level. We got the samples from Italy, uh, we got samples from uh, Russia, um, uh, Thailand. What, uh, Malaysia, we got the samples, uh, US, recently we got uh, two samples from US. Um, so, uh, many more, I cannot think of. Uh, so, it is international, overall we are getting a uh, lot of uh, halal uh, cosmetic products, plus um, food products. Yeah. Why food product is because um, it is very important for the religion that it should be free from uh, pork, which is halal, and hygiene, which is free from pathogens, which is microbes free, and then human and health safety, which is very important that it is not it's safe to be human being. So those are the tests we are mainly doing. It. Alcohol is uh, pork or halal, which is very important. Uh, alcohol should be 0.3% uh, allowed in fruit juices and beverages, because fermentation coming from for, uh, alcohol coming from fermentation is allowed. That is why that 0.3 percent. So as, as, yeah. as far as the chocolate and food products, it should be absent. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. So um, here, uh, let's talk about the pork. What uh, lard and pork derivatives should be absent in cosmetics, which is a big market here. Halal cosmetics is a big market. In addition to the food, halal is very important. So we can detect one copy of the DNA in all cosmetics products, which is including the shampoo, perfumes, um, creams, all of them. Why? Because they are using the pork fat into the uh, cream to give the texture and moisture to the uh, 
uh, skin. And food, of course, you know, sometimes it is contaminated with the uh, pork. Mm -hmm. Different jellies, marmalades. Uh, and also the chocolate, and we do the testing for chocolate, which is uh, for mainly for uh, alcohol, we have tested. Plus, we also test the pork because the fat is used in that one. Um, plus, uh, we also found some uh, uh, pork in uh, nail polish. Nail, because nail, nail polish. polish, yeah. Because that is not allowed. Pork inside. Pork inside, a lot and a lot of derivatives are not allowed. And then going to the microbiology, hygiene, which is free from pathogens. We do the testing for all microbes. For testing, make sure that it is free from pathogens are important. And then the uh, toxic metals, which is of course toxic to the health. So we do the toxic metals like um, using the um, ICP for um, uh, different uh, products, cosmetics, food products are all very important and energy drinks and uh, beverages are important. Very, very, very interesting. And what about the DNA of the pork? Actually, there is a question in the market. Because some people say that if a human, for example, touches uh, uh, the product, yes, and his DNA is uh, almost the same of uh, DNA as uh, of the pork and uh, some other animals. So, and uh, would it be possible for your equipment to differentiate between the DNA of the human and DNA of the pork? Yes, very important because scientists has found, like I was telling before, that 90% of the DNA is the same in all among the uh, species. Only the difference is 10%. That 10% is the one very important, giving different colors, different um, uh, color to the hair, eye, and each person has different uh, health problems. All are due to that specific, that 10% differences. And when you come to the specific level of DNA sequences, we are focusing on those specific differences, which can be used to identify different species, like horse DNA can be specific for certain DNA sequences are specific. So that has been um, revealed by the scientist mm -hmm. because you know that whole uh, genome of yeah. all the species has been sequenced. With that knowledge, you can identify those. That brings our uh, knowledge and novelty to our lab so that we can detect specifically for the pork mm -hmm. in anything available in that, including the uh, gelatin capsules. They make capsules from gelatin. That gelatin is uh, used from the pork. Mm -hmm. So we identified some of the gelatin capsules coming from U.S. has um, pork in it. And how can DNA of the pork uh, uh, be uh, part of the product? Only when you use materials from the pork, or for example, when you keep the products together, like halal and non-halal. So can the DNA for the can the DNA of the pork uh, be uh, part be uh, be found? In the halal products after being there are the two context. ways only halal uh, pork or anything can be found one is adulteration Adul adulteration adulteration means that they add purposely okay. to make it um, say instead of adding they say that it is made up of um, uh, vegetable fat mm. vegetable they, uh, fat is very expensive and uh, mm -hmm. you, the yield is very less mm -hmm. at the same time pork fat is high mm -hmm. in pork is high in fat so it easily can be extracted and mm -hmm. added to that. So, it's so they intentionally, intentionally they are adding it, fortified mm -hmm. or adulteration. Another one is contamination. Like we found in uh, Germany, mm -hmm. horse meat was, uh, the meat was contaminated with horse meat. So it that was is mixed or it was kept together? What was it is contamination? contamination during the processing, manufacturing okay. processing. So it, it touched uh, the pork meat during the processing? Yes. During the process, it Maybe can be contaminated same, with the same with uh, equipment where there is same. pieces of the pork. Exactly. Exactly. Same equipment when you are uh, using for cutting, some meat would have been left over, it is oh, coming okay. through that and then it is contaminated with mm -hmm. all the set of meat, mm -hmm. slowly it is coming. That is the only way contamination comes. So here in UAE and GCC countries, they are keeping the meat separately. Pork meat is a different uh, separate shelf, so that there is no contamination. Well, it's in really happen. very interesting and informative for the producers and Thank for the you. sellers. And uh, I think my last question, uh, do, you tell, do, you, do you have open prices for everyone? Just uh, the list uh, of um, prices for the, all these kind of products? Or it depends on uh, so many factors? Yes, um, 
we have price available, but uh, halal package is what price is available. Uh, our sales team can tell them. Um, and also that, uh, that depending on your how many samples at a time, if you do 10 samples at a time, our extra cost effective for us. So that way we can give more discount. Mm -hmm. So it, the discount is based on how many samples. Does, and, uh, does the price depend on the type of the product? For example, medicine, that price for the meat, another price for the beverage, uh, another price for oh, it. It just depends on the type of the analysis. Type of, depending on the type of test we are doing it, because each cost is going to be different. Mm -hmm. And um, we don't uh, charge differently for different products. Okay. It is analyzed. Say alcohol means uh, one price only. But depending on the customer, we give you the How discount. quick is the results? How, How good is the result? How soon the result will come? Mm -hmm. One month, one week, one day? No, no. It is usually depending on the workload always. And we do the express uh, service always. Uh, we do two to three days because we are putting the other customers aside and we are doing it. And also we do the night shift to prioritize your samples. Usually we give um, uh, seven to ten working days, that will be two weeks, uh, two weeks will be that. Uh, because, uh, because many uh, many tests, depending on the test also, sometimes microbiology, it is a must, it takes about three to four, three to five days. We have to uh, plate it and see whether it is growth is there or not. It takes three to five days. So it's maximum two weeks, yes? For the yes, maximum ten working days. Yeah, two weeks. Yes. And so how many clients uh, so far have hundreds, tens, or if it's not hundred, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Many. We have uh, tested about uh, five thousand last year. Thousands oh, okay. this year already. We reached uh, almost uh, uh, five hundred samples uh, already. Two months. Sometimes, like the way we get more samples. Sometimes nothing. So average it is uh, we are doing very good because as you know that we recently started three years ago and our managing director Kumar Jamal is uh, promoting our land and he is doing a very good job in uh, advertising and getting you into our lab. Also it is pleasure to have you in our lab and uh, I'm looking forward to have more samples from you. Thank you very much. Any questions you have please you can contact us. I given the current лабораторию посмотрели достаточно все интересно хорошая лаборатория в принципе достаточно все хорошо объяснили теперь мы ждем когда наши образцы проверят мы привезли сюда некоторые образцы еще отправим с москвы чтобы проверить подлинность наших халяль производителей всем до связи